Hello everyone, my name is Johnny. Today we're going to be talking about the dodo bird. Me and my friends Catherine and Madison have created a game to make this fun and easy. Now, what is the dodo bird? Well, the dodo bird you might have seen in movies like the Ice Age, or you might have even heard somebody call that to somebody as a mean name. But we're going to talk about some of the things that are true and some of the things that are just misconceptions. So for sure, this bird is a flightless bird, kind of like an ostrich or a penguin. Its habitat is on an island known as the Meridius, and this island is near Madagascar in the, in the Indian Ocean. This is kind of their own home. There wasn't many other animals there, and furthermore, there wasn't any predators that really attacked this bird. So that might be a reason why this bird didn't ever develop flight. The bird is named Dodo because it comes from a Portuguese name, Dodo. Now, what that means is simpleton. And the reason being is because, unlike most animals, this bird did not flee when it saw humans. In fact, it just kept staring at them like it didn't know what was going on, probably because it's never seen an animal like a human. So let's get this game started. We're going to do this in a series of questions and then I'll tell you guys which one is the right answer and why it's the right answer. Now, what caused the dodos to become extinct? Well, is it A, humans, B, disease, C, other animals, or D, two of the above? I'll go ahead and wait. And if you want, you can pause the video and try to figure it out before turning it back on and we'll discuss what it is. Okay, if you chose the answer two of the above, then you are correct. So the reason is, is because humans might have eaten the birds, but what is more likely is that the animals they brought with them, their pets, like cats and dogs, ended up seeing them as prey, or at least something to play with. I know you've seen your dog before eat a bird on accident, just thinking it was a toy, or even a chicken if you're near something like that. Now, that is what started to kill them off slowly but surely. Now, was the dodo bird as dumb as, the, as these movies make them seem? A, yes. B, no. Or C, maybe just a little. Go ahead and pause the video. All right, if you chose B, then you are correct once again, and good job for you. And if you didn't, it's okay. There's some, there's some more questions coming up. Now, here, to put this into perspective, the, bird, the dodo bird is closely related to a pigeon, and the pigeon has, has a fairly sized brain and scale to its body. And so, like the pigeon, it's fairly intelligent, like other birds as well. So, was the dodo clumsy? Again, go ahead and pause the video. And uh, when we do unpause it, we'll talk about what is the right answer and why it's the right answer. All right, you're back. Now. Was it A, yes, they fell all the time just walking, B, no, or C, sometimes when they fly? If you chose B, then you are correct. Now, remember, C is definitely not the answer because we talked about this in the beginning. These birds do not fly. Just trying to see if you're paying attention. Now, it can't be A because, well, the, given their anatomy, meaning their body, they weren't really that clumsy as we want to believe. In fact, they have, they were quite agile. Um, the few specimens that were found by their bones, they were used in a lab to try to create a, a model of it, almost like an animation uh, or a cartoon. So with this cartoon, they were able to see that Due to their stocky, sturdy legs and their large kneecaps, they had the maneuverability 
there was something that made it easy for them to run quick on tough rocky terrains, which is something you would find on an island. Next question, where did they nest their eggs? On the ground, A, in a tree, B, near the water, C, or on someone's house, D. Again, go ahead and pause the video and then we'll talk about the answer afterwards. All right, you're back. So where did they nest their eggs? Well, let's talk about this a little bit. It definitely can't be on someone's house because nobody built houses on this island. Who would want to live on that island? It wasn't near the water because, well, they're not fish and they're not amphibians. So this is just something they don't do. Now it's between on the ground or in a tree. If you chose A, you are correct. And if you didn't, again, that's okay. We're here to learn. And even so, we have another question coming up pretty soon. So again, like we said, bir these birds do not fly. So there would be very hard for them to have laid their nest on a tree. And so more than likely, they nested their eggs on the ground. Let's move on to the next question. Do their descendants fly? And if you're wondering what I mean by descendants, I mean, do their relatives in the future that came after them fly? A, yes, B, no, or C, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Again, pause the video to answer the question. I'll give you some time. And then when you come back, we'll talk a little bit about it. <laughs> All right, you're back. So yes, yes, C is very silly. That is definitely not it. So this is a, a just a 50-50 chance of getting it right. So you have more, more probability on your side this time. And if you chose yes, you are correct. And so like we said earlier, I think I brought it up, they are closely related to pigeons and they are also closely related to doves. And this is a definite yes. These birds, you and I both know, you've seen them fly, especially pigeons, they're everywhere. Now, let's talk a little bit about why they started flight. So, just talking about how these birds went extinct, it was because they could not get away. They were only able to run away, which would only do them good for so long, especially if the animal was a lot faster they would catch up to them eventually and they would be eaten. Now, the way evolution works is that sometimes a trait can be passed down and sometimes it cannot. It does not pop up because it is needed. It randomly pops up. And if it is used, then it keeps going on. And if it's not, then it doesn't. Just like how the birds didn't, learn, didn't need to fly, the dodo birds, that's probably why they never gained the trait to fly. But because they died off like this is why they would need it. So these birds having the ability to fly was kept because it helped them avoid being eaten. Now, I hope all of that made sense. And if it did, I would like you to give thanks to both Catherine and Madison for doing such a great job with this whole presentation. And uh, thank you for listening to me, Johnny, the one that presented it. <laughs> and I hope this was fun and informative, and I hope you guys stay safe. Thank you for listening.